What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So Valve has released game recording for Steam and it also works for the Steam Deck. So I'm gonna be checking this out on the Steam Deck and the Windows handhelds, but we're gonna start here in this video with the Steam Deck. So keep an eye out for that next video if you have a Windows handheld as well. But here's a quick look at the website and they have it set up here for their new game recording. This is in beta, which we'll talk about more as we take a look on the Steam Deck, but you're able to record, replay, clip, and share. And I'll have a link to this website as well in the description for you. There's a lot more information on here that you can go read and look at and see all the different features and stuff like that but pretty uh cool the timeline and event markers is pretty neat as well and there's shortcuts for the steam deck for those and it makes it really easy easy to share all of your clips and the deck is of course verified and it seems to be working pretty well there though there are some buggy things but it is beta and there's going to be plenty of room for improvement so here's our steam deck here we're going to hit the steam button we're going to come down here to settings and we're going to go into system. You do need to be on the beta update channel if you're not already. I typically run stable because I do a lot of game testing, but I'm switched over to beta so that I could check this out. So you're going to need to be on beta here and this will get you going for the game recording. Now, if we come back over here into our settings and we go all the way down here, just under storage, we'll find game recording. So there's a new tab for us here with some settings and we have the off or don't record, which is pretty self-explanatory. We have record in the background where when you start playing a game, it'll start recording for up to 120 minutes and that allows you to do replays and clips and that type of thing. We also have record on demand, which is what I'm gonna use in this video. And once you use the shortcut, you can turn on and off the recording very easily that way. We also have our recording quality from 1.5 to 4, 7.5, 12, and 24 megabits per second. Uh, I'm going to leave mine on 24 for now. That is, of course, going to use up the most space, but give the highest quality. So you'll have to judge what you want to do for that and how much space you have. There's also the shortcuts, the Steam A to start and stop recording, and Steam Y to make the timeline markers in there if you're using that auto record feature. So yeah, that's pretty intuitive and easy to set up for game recording there on the deck. Now, also, when you're in game, there's a new tab here, game recording as well, with some quick information showing you the shortcuts. You can also manually start recording here, view recordings and recording settings. So easily access while in game this way as well. Now, once we're in a game, I'll show you recording, but I'll show, show a little bit of performance because anytime you do recording on a PC of any kind, you're going to lose a little bit. So we're at around 42 FPS here. If I do the uh, start recording Steam A button, we'll come down to around 38. 39 so I see a typical two to four loss depending there just on this game just as a small example this is going to be very game dependent but the heavier it is to run a game the more impact maybe something like this with recording will have we stop the recording we'll go back up to 42 pretty solid pretty good there uh, on the game just as a, as a small example for those of you curious in cyberpunk it's a little harder because it bounces all over but 37 to 41 39 uh, right around in there we'll start recording we'll come down to 34 35 uh, 30 dips a little bit lower here you know coming down on the lows and stuff maybe frame times a little bit so this game's pretty heavy as well and a lot happening uh, in the city so yeah it wouldn't be surprising to maybe lose a little bit more here on cyberpunk uh, standing here but we turn that off and things pretty much get back to normal now doing the benchmark I did it a few times 42.2 versus 44.76 uh, with recording on versus recording off so those that are interested not a big difference but of course you are going to see some impact when recording and it'll be kind of game dependent now if we come into our settings and media this is where things are recorded but my clips for cyberpunk that you saw me do don't work and elden ring and i think some other games are doing this as well where you get audio but not video ghost of uh, tsushima though did a great job and recorded just fine with good quality you can share all your clips to your device or with a qr code and all that which seems to work pretty well for the most part although i do have some trouble exporting sometimes with the mp4 but Again, this is beta, gets a little bit buggy, but it's it's really cool feature set here that they've added. And I think once they smooth this out and add a few more features, uh, it'll start getting really good. It doesn't record the overlay, unfortunately. So if you're a content creator, you're still probably gonna use your capture card or your overhead recording. But if you're someone just wanting to grab some clips of gameplay real quick or share something, I think this is a pretty good feature for that. But I definitely wanna see this get a little bit more robust and of course get past some of these bugs and initial issues we're having 
uh, with the recording and exporting uh, so far being reported here for beta. But all in all, I think it's a great feature. I love seeing this come to Steam Deck. I'll be trying it on the Windows handhelds as well and doing a video on that. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below for this. I think it's a great feature for them to add, but I do want to see it get a little bit straightened out and maybe a little bit more robust on the features. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.